Scientists just forced guinea pigs to listen to Adele for seven days, and the results are as worrying as they are surprising, because something bad happened, and unfortunately scientists weren't just testing what happens when guinea pigs listen to Adele, what they were actually testing was the damage to a guinea pig's inner ear when listening to over-compressed music, or in this case, almost any compressed music. And in case you're unfamiliar, music tends to come in two different formats, com uncompressed and pressed, uncompressed being being raw, having the whole natural sound wave, and compressed being a condensed or compressed version of that. It typically operates by setting a limit and kind of squeezing all the sounds to being within that decibel range or trims them in some cases, as you can see through these examples that I'm clicking through. But the end result is that the same piece of music, which was Adele, it was a bit random, is harmless when played in its original uncompressed version. However, it introduces a protracted deficit of one auditory neural pathway when overcompressed at the same level. Or to be expanded upon a little bit in the Music Radar article that I was referencing here, the group listening to the compressed version endured more lasting damage to the middle ear stapedius muscle. This component of every ear, humans too, protects the inner ear from loud noises and at one millimeter long, is actually the smallest skeletal muscle in the body. So despite the music being played uncompressed and compressed at the exact same volume, the test showed that animals who had listened to the uncompressed Adele made a full recovery of their inner ear muscles within one day but the test was repeated for seven days with no discernible lasting effects. However, the group of guinea pigs that had listened to compressed music did not get off so lightly, with their stapedius reflexes never fully recovering and exhibiting half of their strength at the end of the experiment a week later. So basically they're damaging the stapes, which you can see the stapedius muscle would be right around that, right in here in our inner ear, kind of all around the region that we would think of as the cochlea. Apparently that doesn't like compressed music, and in case you're curious, uh, there's actually three types. You have compressed and uncompressed. Compressed can come in lossy and lossless. Uh, the scientists did not test the difference between lossy and lossless. They only tested uh, compressed and uncompressed. So if you're looking for something that won't hurt your ear because like 99.9% .9 of everything on the internet is gonna be this MP3 right here where it's MP3 audio for everything. Even this video probably has MP3 audio. But if you're looking to protect your ears, you're gonna need to come down here and start looking for WAV and FLAC music. I believe uh, FLAC is supported both on YouTube Music and Spotify, if I'm not mistaken. Because keep in mind, those MP3s that you're listening to are compressed and they will slowly and casually damage your inner ear.